we have to prove that this function is linear. In other words, it's a linear transformation. So recall that a map uh, T from a vector space V into a vector space W is called linear or is a linear transformation uh, if the following two conditions hold. So the first condition is that T of X plus Y is equal to T of X plus T of Y. And this condition has to be true for all vectors X and Y in our vector space V. And the second condition is that if you take a scalar, let's call it uh, C, and you multiply it by T of X, this is simply equal to T of C times the vector X. And this has to be true for all scalars C in our field and for all vectors X in our vector space V. So here our field will be the real numbers. So our scalar C will be in the set of real numbers. So let's go ahead and carefully prove this. So we'll start by taking some vectors in V. So take any, and let's use this notation here. Let's say x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. And our V here is R squared. And our W here is R squared. So this is what the vectors look like. They're ordered pairs, they're vectors. And these will be in R squared. And our scalar will be a real number. And we'll start by checking the first condition very carefully. This is really an exercise in notation. So we have T of the sum of the vectors. So x1, y1, plus x2, y2. Right, this is our x right here. This is our x and this is our y. And now we'll actually perform the addition. So how do you add two vectors? Well, you add the components. So this is simply x1 plus x2, comma, it's a little two, y1 plus y2. And now we'll go ahead and apply t to this new vector. So this is equal to parentheses, let's see, so this is our x coordinate, so that's going to go here, so it's going to be 2 times x1 plus x2, and then plus y, well this is our y, so it'll be plus y1 plus y2, we have a comma, and then we have x minus y, so our x is x1 plus x2, minus, and now I really should put the y in parentheses, so y1 plus y2, parentheses, parentheses. And now let's go ahead and distribute and see if we can make sense of this. So this is parentheses, let's see, 2x1 plus 2x2 plus y1 plus y2, comma, and then we have x1 plus x2, and then we'll distribute the minus, so minus y1 minus y2. And we somehow have to show that this is equal to t of the first vector plus t of the second vector. So this is equal to, well, let's look at t. t of x, y is 2x plus y, so we can group these in a special way to make it more clear. Let's see, so 2x1 plus y1, so 2x1 plus y1 plus and then here we have 2x2 plus y2. So 2x2 plus y2. You can be really careful. And then here we have x minus y. So let's group them in a similar fashion. So this is x1 minus y1 plus x2 minus y2. Let me switch colors here, maybe add to the clarity. So this is equal to. Okay, so our first vector is going to be 2x1 plus y1. That's the x-coordinate of our first vector. And the y-coordinate of our first vector is x1 minus y1. Right? We want it to be equal to the actual t of the vector. And then plus, and we have this piece. This is our second x-coordinate. So 2x2 plus y2. And then here we have this piece here, x2 minus y2. 
And now we're pretty much done, right? This is equal to t of x1, y1, plus, and this is t of x2, y2. And that shows the first condition that um, t of x plus y is t of x plus t of y. Let me go ahead and, and write down t down here again for clarity. So t of x, y was parentheses 2x plus y, comma x minus y. That's how we were able to make uh, this step here. So the next condition is to check, uh, we have to check, I'll write it again, to check that t of c times a vector is equal to c times t of the vector. I wrote it backwards from the original definition, but that's no big deal. We'll actually prove it uh, this way. So using the same vectors we have, we have t of c of x1, y1. And how do you multiply a scalar times a vector? You just multiply each of the components by the scalar. So this is cx1, cy1. And now we'll apply t to this vector. So this is equal to, well, here's the formula for t. So it's 2x, so it's parentheses 2, and then our x is cx1, and then it's plus y, so that's cy1. Right, this is our x, this is our y. And then we have x minus y, so it'll be cx1 minus cy1. Right, this is our x, this is our y. Again, it's just a very careful exercise uh, in notation. Well, these are all numbers, so we can actually factor out the c. This is equal to parentheses c, and then here we have 2x1 plus y1 comma, and then factor out the c here. This is c x1 minus y1. And now we can factor out the c completely. This is c, parentheses, 2x1 plus y1, comma, x1 minus y1. And at last, this is c, and this is t of x1, y1. So we've shown both conditions, so therefore, T is linear. Kind of rushed through that, but it still took uh, a while. I hope that made sense.